sometimes, every now and again, some things can go a little funny inside your Gmail account. Here's some of the common places that I like to check if I don't think something's working the way that it should be inside of Gmail. If you've been missing important emails or maybe your inbox just seems a little quiet, well, there could be something going on with your Gmail account. Whether a friend has texted you saying that there's a bounce back message when they try and email you or if you just wanna check that things are running correctly, I'm gonna give you a guide on how to make sure everything is running swimmingly in your Gmail world and help you find out some of the basic steps you should do if you think your emails may not be being received correctly. Before we start, keep in mind, this video is specifically for Gmail. If you're using Google Workspace, that is a business account, well, I've got a specific video covering the steps you wanna take on Google Workspace, but it doesn't help to watch both videos because, well, you might learn a thing or two here as well. Let's dive into fixing your Gmail. First up, it's time for a storage check. Now, Google only gives you 15 gigabytes of free storage with your Gmail account. And that's not just to store your emails, it's also to store your Google Drive documents, anything you've got stored in Google Photos and anything you've saved into your Google account. You can check this out in your administrator panel. Well, in the consumer version, it's called account settings. And in there, you can actually go to the storage tab and that will show you how much storage you're using. Now you can choose to upgrade to Google storage solutions like Google One, which will give you additional storage. And if right now you've run out of storage space, that might be the easiest way to get things working again. Now, Google's usually pretty good at giving you warnings if you're running out of storage. So I'm gonna guess that if you're here watching this video, it's probably not the thing. But if it is the thing, great, thumbs up, we've got it fixed. Drop me a comment down below and say thanks. If you've worked out that it is your storage and you wanna reduce that storage easily, well, you could run a search inside your Gmail and look for emails that have large attachments and maybe delete some of those old ones. Or if you're in your Google Drive, you can search for large files inside your Google Drive and see if maybe you've got that old video upload that you don't need anymore that you could clean out. My personal recommendation as a pack rat is that I like to keep everything I store in my digital world. And so I'm more likely to spend a few bucks upgrading my storage and being able to keep a hold of everything. The thing with storage is if people keep emailing you, you're probably gonna keep filling up that storage. And so it makes sense to invest in a storage plan to give you some more breathing room. Now, if you're not receiving emails and storage isn't the problem, where do we look next? Well, sometimes every now and again, some things can go a little funny inside your Gmail account whether it's something that you did yourself accidentally, whether it's a third party actor in a malicious way changing settings, or sometimes you've switched on a plugin or an add-on to your Google Chrome, and that's starting to change things inside your account. Here's some of the common places that I like to check if I don't think something's working the way that it should be inside of Gmail. First up, I like to check filters and blocked addresses. Now, these are in your Gmail settings, so you wanna hit the settings wheel and then go to all settings. Look for filters and blocked addresses, and you can see if you may have accidentally clicked the block button and stopped anyone from being able to email you. Filters are like rules for your email. They direct how emails come into your inbox and where they go once they've landed. Now, if you've got a filter set up where you've accidentally configured it to skip the inbox by using the archive feature, well, those emails that you were expecting to receive may not be landing in the inbox. Now, if you do find that this is the problem, you can undo, well, at least you can find the emails. You can cancel the filter, but what you then need to do is go and look for the emails and you'll be able to find them either by searching or going into a folder called All Mail. Now, it's down below the inbox and the All Mail folder is basically where every single email in your inbox goes to, even if you put it in a label or it's in the inbox or it's in the sent mail. Everything is in All Mail and if you need to find an email that you think you may have lost, it's probably gonna be sitting there. But mind you, only emails that you've actually received. If your mailbox was full and someone received a bounce back because they couldn't email you, well, that email is not gonna appear in your inbox and it's not gonna appear in your all mail either. They'll need to resend the email to you. Okay, next place to check is email forwarding settings. Now, these are also in the main settings of your Gmail and forwarding is where you wanna send a copy of every email that hits your inbox to an external email address. You may have configured it to go to a second business address or a second personal address. Whatever your reason is, check your forwarding settings because there is a tick box that allows you to delete emails after they've been forwarded or archive emails after they've been forwarded. Now, if you archive an email, it automatically goes into the all mail folder and you won't see it in the inbox. Deleting, fairly obvious. Also, you won't see that in the inbox. Check your forwarding settings to make sure you haven't set them up to archive or delete any of your emails. 
Now, step number four is a bit of a weird one. Gmail runs online and in the browser, and most desktop applications can't really touch or change any settings to do with Gmail. Sometimes there may be a Chrome plugin that can modify how the Gmail interface looks, but it's worth also checking if maybe you have antivirus software of some sort that is interfering with your email. I can't say for sure what every single app or program does on your computer, but I do know that some of them try to do their very best to protect people and they can be a little overzealous at times. So if you have a endpoint monitoring or antivirus or anti-spyware software running on your computer, try temporarily pausing it. Open up your Gmail, maybe in an incognito window, and just see if you can see your emails coming through there. If something changes and it's different after disabling an antivirus or using the incognito window, meaning you don't have any plugins running in Chrome, allows you to see all of your emails instantly, you might want to look for applications and software that may be changing or modifying or somehow restricting your access to your Gmail mailbox. If you're suspicious that it may be a Chrome add-on or a Chrome plugin, you can go to your Chrome preferences, look for the add-ons and plugins menu, and you can then go to remove any of the mail related plugins or at least disable them to test and see if that brings your emails back. Step number five is for, I don't wanna say the dinosaurs, but I think it's the dinosaurs. Those who are still using email in a desktop application, whether it's Outlook or maybe you're using Apple Mail, if you're downloading your Gmail emails onto your desktop right now, well, maybe you gotta check what's going on there. Have you got your settings wrong? Did you change your password and not update it in the app? Maybe you enabled something like two-factor authentication in your Google account. And if you've done that, you need to set an application-specific password in your account settings to have an older account connect and be able to retrieve mail. Now, if you are someone who absolutely must use your emails on the desktop because you wanna access them offline from time to time, my strong recommendation is that you consider using a Google Chrome browser and switch on offline access mode. You can access up to 90 days of emails in the browser and you can search, put stuff in folders, compose new emails, access your address book, pretty much anything you need to do for most people who need to access emails offline. My strong recommendation is that you don't bother with a local desktop application anymore because the search tends to be slow. There are bugs and issues with synchronization from time to time and you've got the risk of someone stealing your computer or maybe you leave it on a train one day and someone potentially has access to all of your sensitive files because emails stored on your computer are usually not encrypted. If you're yet to get used to the Gmail interface, well, we've got a great course on that. You can check out our website or drop us a DM to one of our socials. We've got a free masterclass on mastering your Gmail inbox, which is useful for anybody, either a business or a consumer user using the Google ecosystem. Click on the link down below to get access to that for free. Okay, back to the current age and back into the next place to look in your Gmail. If someone's trying to send you an email and it's just not getting through, maybe they're caught up by the spam folder. Now, Google spam filtering is so good that you've probably forgotten that Google's actually filtering spam from your inbox. Google are very good at filtering out much of the spam that exists on the internet these days and pretty much becomes a non-issue for most internet users. Sometimes it's not necessarily Google's fault that someone's being marked as spam. It could be that the sender hasn't got their sending settings correct on their business domain and Google's flagging it as a precaution just because it's expecting they could potentially be a bad actor. Remember that Google's trying to protect you by filtering out as much spam as it possibly can. Final tip, and this is only after you've gone through and checked absolutely everything else, is Gmail might be down. You can head straight to downdetector.com if there's a major outage, you know there'll be alerts there. But Google also has a dedicated status page to check the services of everything Google. If there are reports of an outage to Google, it is very rare, but they do happen. Well, you'll be sure to find them on the outage page. If you've noticed that there is an outage, you're probably best to just sit and wait. There's not much that you can do actively. And even if someone has tried to email you, eventually that email may still come through just with a bit of a delay. Sit tight and wait, and hopefully the email will come through if this happens to be the issue. If you've got this far, I hope you've got it sorted out. If you still need help, drop a comment down below and we'll do our best to reply as will I'm sure our community as well. If you need technical help with your small business, even if you're a solopreneur, IT Genius will help you with all of your tech challenges and we happen to be experts at everything in the Google world. Click the link down below to learn more and I'll see you in the next video.